guys i found a story that inspired me quite significantly with its simplistic storytelling a striking feature of this story is the sheer ease with which the author has portrayed a multitude of emotions i'm talking about the book the actress by marla so here we are presenting before you an overview of the chapter the actress friends do you know when this book is written and do you have any idea about the what that has been mentioned in the story the story has been set on the aftermath of the destructive second world war by the end of the war in 1945 some 60 lakh jews who were staying in germany and other territories occupied by german nazi forces had been killed systematically by them These forces were led by Adolf Hitler and this inhuman act is known as the Holocaust. When the war ended in 1945, some of the Jews got liberation from the concentration camps by the Allied armies. This is what is referred to as the liberation by the protagonist in the story. About the characters protagonist The protagonist is unmistakably a survivor of such concentration camps. Others from her family had also been sent to these camps and had perished there. She was the sole survivor. After the liberation, she decides to come back to her hometown in Holland in search of her belongings, which had been taken away by Mrs. Dolling at the start of the war. The protagonist's mother. Not much is known in detail about Mrs. S. She had only been mentioned once when the protagonist is back home for a few days and notices that some things were missing from her house. Her mother tells her that they were taken away by Mrs. Dolling of 46 Marconi Street. From this scene we can deduce that Mrs. S is an overly trusting person. She truly thought Mrs. Dolling was taking her precious things for safekeeping and had no ulterior motives in mind. Mrs. Dolling. Mrs. Dolling is a non-Jewish acquaintance of Mrs. S. When the war started, she renewed her contact with Mrs. S and convinces her to give away her antiquities for safe safekeeping. In truth, she had wanted the things for herself. She is said to have a broad back, which is a characteristic her daughter inherits. When the protagonist shows up at her door, she blocks her view of the inside of the house to keep her from seeing her belongings. She is guilt-laden on seeing the protagonist and cautiously turns her away. I don't know much about this Margot Mingo. I only know she is the author of this story. And do you know about the author? Actually, I do know about the author. Do you also want to know? So now, coming up with some facts about the author. The author, Marga Minko. She was born on 31st March 1920 in Gieningen, Netherlands, to an Orthodox Jewish family. During her childhood she lived in Netherlands and later moved to Amsterdam during the World War II. She's a Dutch journalist and writer who later in her life started writing novels and stories based on her experiences. She was the lone survivor of her family during the German invasion of Netherlands. Her parents and siblings were deported to concentration camps and never returned. Most of her works are in the Dutch language and have been translated to English. Some of her works are Have a look in the drawer, The house next door, Return, An empty house, The address, etc. But the most interesting thing about her is that she is 100 years old and she is still alive. about the author Marga Melko. Let's move on to the summary of the story, the address. After many years, the war had finally ended. The Holocaust had come to an end. Mrs. S's daughter, the only survivor in her family, has come back to her hometown that held all her memories that she shared with her family. But there was one thing she particularly came for the address number 46 Marconi Street it was the address of Miss Dolling 
At least she thought it was. Walking through the streets, she had nostalgic feelings of the past. The streets gave her back what the war had taken from her. She was determined to get back her mother's belongings, which was with Mrs. Dolly. Hello, Mrs. Darling. Uh, do you remember me? I'm Mrs. S's daughter. No, I don't know you. Oh, this cardigan. Well, uh, you knew my mother, right? Have you come back? I thought that no one had come back. Only me. I regret I cannot do anything for you. Well, Mrs. Darling, I've come here specially on the train and I wanted to talk to you for a moment. It's not convenient for me now. I can't see you. Another time. Disappointed that she could not get what she needed, she decided to go back. There was nothing she could do now but to come again for a second chance. As she slowly walked back to the station, she had flashbacks of when her mother gave her the address. It was during the first half of the war when she had come back to see her mother. The protagonist was informed that Mrs. Darling was an old acquaintance of her mother who had come to renew their contact after many years. Then she became a regular visitor. The mother also told her that every time Mrs. Darling left their house, she took something home with her. And the reason Mrs. Darling gave for the deed was that she wanted to save all the nice possessions. The protagonist was dejected and astonished to see such a sight. But her mother reassured her by introducing her to the lady and gave the protagonist the address of Mrs. Darling's house. Number 46 in Marconi Street. Suddenly, the sound of the train brought her back into reality. Another day, she was very keen to see her possession once more. As her first attempt went in vain, she decided to go and try it out once again. I'll wait for her. My mother will be back soon. I've made tea for her. Would you like to have some? Thank you. You know what? You get so used with using all these lovely things here that you don't even notice them. You notice them when something goes missing. Either you are given to someone for lending or maybe it is given for some repair. You know what? Once my mother asked me to help her polish the silver. I asked her which silver she was talking about and she told me that it was this knives, the forks, and the spoons. And the strange thing was that I didn't even know that all the cutlery we ate of every day was made of silver. I bet you don't know it either. Do you know? It's in here. Oh, I must catch my train. Don't you want to wait for my mother? No, I must go. So, why do you think the narrator left behind all the things that belong to her mother? And why do you think she never wanted to remember about The Address? The Address by Marga Mitko is a beautiful story that teaches us the importance of letting things go. The narrator took the courage to leave behind all the things that reminded her about the miserable past and her deceased mother. Moreover, her mother's things are valueless.